down here in New Zealand. Kia ora whanau. Hello family. Comic book fans, pop culture enthusiasts, and of course all you creative people here in Whangarei and Northland and around the world and all over New Zealand during this lockdown. Uh, welcome to another lockdown broadcast here on our live stream in Whangarei, New Zealand. Another beautiful day. I didn't get to see much of it because I was up till uh, 7 o'clock uh, this morning before I had, my eyes kept closing and I couldn't work anymore. Uh, so, yeah, so I've decided that um, I'll bring back my um, two... Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm still tired. I woke up around about four and my eyes are still, as you can see, still a bit tired and sleepy and exhaustion. And I guess it's like all of us right now, all over the world in lockdown and isolation, we're exhausted. I know it's like holiday time. It feels like holiday time. I'm sure the kids are feeling like it's holiday time. I can hear some neighbors' kids jumping around and chuckling and uh, enjoying themselves. The, um, the light that they have right now, it's nice and sunny here in Uh I'm not sure where you guys are around the world, but it is. we're going into winter. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's hard times. Um, on day three, day one was kind of like, uh, yeah, we can, you know, it's going to be cool. It's going to, you know, we can handle this, handle that. Day two, I started settling. Day three, you're sort of like going, what am I going to do now? You know, I'm running out of ideas to how to entertain kids, how to entertain myself, how to keep myself busy and not uh, wear myself out. Well, there's lots of things you can do. And there's lot, and this is the age we live in that everything's at our fingertips, which I'm grateful for. But the other side is... Uh, all that is there, but we already know that social media can become a have a negative effect on people as well. As you have too much information, and sometimes too much wrong information. And um, with that, I like to say, look, the only way we're going to get the right answer for information is if we, you know, if we listen to what our um, what what our um, our leaders are saying, follow what they're saying, right? Not what everything you're reading around the world on. And of course, I myself, um, I'm. I have political, um, I like politics and stuff. I like to know what people are doing, how they behave in times of crisis. And it's a, it's a good time to watch how people do these things and how they deal with it. Because as a leader myself, uh, running a company, uh, two actually, uh, running a division, as well as running Plunge, I want to be able to learn from hardships that other people are experiencing. I want to learn that and take that and figure out how I'm going to, deal with it myself going forward it's you know and a lot of people in these situations are finding it really hard so we look to our leaders and say hey how are you guys dealing with it give us the right information and stuff and i find at the moment we're getting kind of like we're very airy fairy uh, as we used to call it information where you know you're watching people run around outside on the roads streets driving around but they're supposed to be in lockdown and and that can create anxiety to us. And I know I've talked to some people today, family members, etc., uh, where that can bring on anxiety of its own. It's like, why am I in lockdown when everybody else is running around? And that's a mixed message that we're kind of getting from our leaders at the time. And I think it's, it's kind of, I know it's kind of our culture. If you're not aware of how, how uh, our, if you're not a Kiwi, if you haven't lived here for decades or something like that, or even a few years, you're not aware of how we face situations in our lives and as, a, as a Kiwi, as New Zealanders. And that is that we have the attitude, and we've had it for decades, uh, even up to the 90s, right? Uh, where she'll be right, mate. You know, it's all right. But the problem is that when if you hear your leaders say, you know, uh, you can go for a walk, stay close to home. Stay in your yard. If you want to exercise, go for a walk, but do it in your yard. That kind of thing is confusing people. And I've heard so many on Facebook right now uh, talk about it. And this is Kiwi saying, hey, you're giving us too, many, too much information, but not, the, not a direct information. So if you tell us we're in lockdown, we must be in lockdown, right? We must be at home, within our yard, and away from people at two to three meters, right? If I, me, I'd go for three meters, right? Let's try to get away as people as possible. Because the thing is, if they're not worried about it, I must be worried about it because I want to make sure that I'm healthy 
and not going to pass it on to somebody else if it comes across for somebody else because I might become a carrier. So that's the kind of things we got to go. We got to look at ourselves and go, I will take responsibility for my health so that I don't have to put pressure on our medical staff. And one of the things I want to bring up right now is what some of you don't know and might not understand is that medical staff, had, some of them have had to send their kids away from themselves. Whilst most of us, I'm not, I don't have children of my own, those, most of us who have families and have children and are both doctors or both nurses or, or in other medical areas and are getting, coming into contact with um, you know, people who infect yourself or and work in a, in a hospital or a doctor's place or a chemist who come into contact with people that might be infected or might not be infected but don't know but carriers. They have had to make the hard, hard, terrible decision right now to send their children away so that their children can be safe and they could not be part they could not they won't be able to pass it on to their children. So that's something to, that is such an amazing thing, and we should applaud our staff for that, our essential staff for that. And not only just doctors and nurses, I'm talking about everybody on the front line, right? People at the grocery um, grocers, right? Police ambulance staff our you know uh, just you know firemen there's so many people people who are moving truck drivers who are moving food around New Zealand so that we can all be taken care of in the long run uh, we, you know this is the third day and people are so concerned about themselves and not worried about people on the front line sometimes I, I, I'm hearing stuff like oh my money my money my money it's like I'm okay, but some people aren't okay, and a lot of people in the long run aren't going to be okay. But really think about people on the front lines, and not as a like, oh, I'm freaking out, freaking out, but understand what they're going through, the stress they're feeling right now. Like I said, sending kids away from them, away from them for four weeks, uh, you know. But the great thing is we have social media. I talked to some... Um, um, nephews of mine yesterday uh, and you know and I was wary of myself that I didn't put any of my own stress on them as I spoke to them that when I talked to them I smiled and I said hey look you know you're looking good you're taking care of yourselves oh this is cool how, what are you doing today are you happy you know how are you how are you because the thing about us as adults is that we don't sometimes remember what it was like to be children. And one thing I've had the privilege of as a youth worker is knowing what children go through. Because children take on whatever stresses their parents have onto themselves. So if you, and I've talked to some friends about this as well, but I've spent six years in youth work, uh, you know, working from 12 year olds up to 35 year olds if you can call 35 years of youth. Uh, so, you know, so children take on that on board. We're on day three, so we have to be mindful that the children are happy, mentally and stress-free, right? Uh, that they're, they're um, that you can go up to them and go, hey, are you okay? You know, do, can I get you something to eat, to drink? Uh, you know, do you need a bit of time away from PlayStation? Because they're basically going, I'm going to stay away from mom and dad as possible because mom and dad are stressing out. So this is something that we have to take on board, that yes, it's us, but also our children, right? Our whanau, our mokopuna, uh, you know, niece and nephews. Uh, and, I'm, and I have the privilege of being an uncle, right? And um, so I, I get being a ner um, nerd geek uh, involved in pop culture and that, uh, you know, just a huge nerd geek, whatever. Uh, I, you know, I have, I enjoy passing on that to my niece and nephews, you know, that the joy that I have of in this, in this uh, fandom that I love so much and the passion I have for it. Um, and so it's important to just make sure that children are okay. As much as you think they are, go the extra mile to make sure they are okay. And that, uh, that you know, that the stress that you are having isn't passed on to them.